I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a very popular optimization question. The question here is, a lighthouse L is located on a small island 4 km west of a point A on a straight north-south coastline. A power line is to be laid from L to the nearest source of power at point B on the shoreline 12 km north of point A. The cost of laying the cable underwater is $6,000 per kilometer and the cost of laying the cable along the shoreline is $2,000 per kilometer. To minimize cost, the power line will be built from A, uh, from L underwater to a point C on the shoreline and then along the shoreline from C to B. Find the location of point C to the nearest meter where the power cable should enter the water. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now we should begin with sketching the scenario. Let's say this is the shore and uh, the lighthouse is somewhere here. Okay. So what is given to us is that the lighthouse is 4 kilometers from a point which is A on the shoreline. So this is west of A. Now going north we have source of power at A and um, source of power at B sorry. Yeah. And this source of power is 12 kilometers from A, right? So this total distance here is 12 kilometers. To optimize, we may have to lay cable like this through the sea and then along the shore, correct? So that could be the path taken. So the cost which we are trying to incur and to minimize is the cost of laying this cable. If we see that the point C is X kilometers from A, in that case B to C is going to be 12 minus X. So this distance is going to be 12 minus X, correct? So that actually gives you the cost. So we can write cost as per the distance of cable, this distance L to C using Pythagorean theorem could be written as 4 square plus x square square root, right? And $6,000 is the cost for laying in the water. So it is, rate is 6,000 and the distance here is square root of x square plus 4 square, correct? Now, all along the shore, the cost is $2,000. We can write 2,000 times 12 minus x. So that gives you the cost function. Right? Now, to minimize the cost, let's find the critical number. That is c dash x and we will later equate it to zero to find the minimum cost. So the derivative of this will be, so we have 6,000, square root derivative will be half times, this comes in the denominator, square root of x square plus four square. Derivative of inside function, which is two x plus. If you expand this, 2000 multiplied with 12 is constant, so its derivative will be 0, and derivative of minus x is minus 1, so we get here minus 2000, x is 1, so that is what we get. Okay? So that becomes the derivative, and now to minimize the cost, we are going to equate it to 0, and then 
find the value of x. So let's move on to a new page and do our calculations. So let me rewrite the cost function as such. So cost function was 6000 square root x square plus 4 square which is 16 plus 2000 times 12 minus x where we're looking into this shoreline and from here we have a lighthouse we're trying to go like this and then to the source of power this source of power is at b we land at c and from a this distance is 12 this distance is given to us as 4 towards the lighthouse and this here will be 4 square plus x square square root where this is x and that is 12 minus x from b to c okay right and the derivative for this particular function is as we just saw 6000 and uh, uh, we had times 2x derivative of this divided by actually it is 2 square root of x square plus 4 square here it is minus 2000 right so 2000 minus x will give us derivative as 2000 so this we are simplifying cancelling this zeros and for critical number we know that c dash x should be equal to 0 so equating it to 0 we get 6000 x over square root of x square plus 16 which is 4 square minus 2000 should be equal to 0 now taking it to the right side we get 6000 x equals to 2000 and we'll cross multiply right so we'll cross multiply with x square plus 16. we can divide by 2000 so we get 3x equals to square root of x square plus 16 and now we can square both sides so at this stage let us square both sides in that case we get 9x square equals to x square plus 16 correct now it is easy to find the answer. Now these steps are very critical. So I like you to follow such steps so that easily you can calculate the value. So 9x squared will bring x squared to this side. So we get 9x squared minus x squared equals to 16, which is 8x squared equals to 16, or x squared equals to 16 divided by 8, which is 2. So x is square root of 2. We'll take only positive value and this is in kilometers. Right. What we really find, we want to find is the location of point C where the power cable should enter the water. So we want to find this distance. right? So from here, B to C is basically equal to 12 minus square root of 2 in kilometers. So let's use calculator to find this answer. So we get 12 minus square root of 2, which is equal to in decimals 10.5857. So that is kilometers. Rounding to meters, we get 10, 5, 8. We can round this to 6 meters. Correct? So the, the cable runs along the shore for so many meters, right? So along the shore, for 10, 5, 86 meters. Perfect. So that is how you could actually solve such questions. I hope uh, this is fine. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.